What's going on YouTube? It's Aleem from Ambitious Labs and today I'm gonna to tell you the 10 things I wish I knew about Flutterflow before I went all in. So let's get started. The first thing I wish I knew is that if you want the one click deploy to app store feature, you have to pay $70 a month. If you're an entrepreneur or building part-time and you have a job, it's totally worth it. And even if you're not, let me tell you, if you have to write and deploy the app yourself, it does take a lot of time. And if you make one mistake, you have to start all over. I highly recommend doing it. And if you use the Flutterflow signup link in our description, you'll get one month for free. And if you join the Dreams Into App Bootcamp, you'll actually get more than that. But you have to join to find out. The link is in the description to learn more about the Dreams Into Apps Bootcamp. The second thing I wish I knew is that Revenue Cat is a little hard to understand. If you plan on using Flutterflow to build a mobile app that you want to monetize, you'll probably have to use Revenue Cat since that's the monetization solution that they have built in. So you need to understand entitlements, offerings, and products, and how those all link together. It's a bit of a learning curve. You can totally get it. It may take a day, but once you get it, it's pretty simple from there. The third thing I wish I knew about Flutterflow was how easy it is to control your app's content without having to ship a new version using Firebase Remote Config. I actually did an entirely different video on this, but it's an awesome feature. And if you're building a consumer app, you definitely have to take advantage of it. You simply come into the dashboard, declare a parameter name, declare the value type and a default value, then come into Firebase and do the exact same thing. And in Firebase is where you can control, say text or gates for different routes in your app. So it allows you to pretty much have flexibility over what your app's doing without having to ship a new version. Highly recommend using it. And as someone who's built apps for 10 years writing code, let me tell you, to build an A-B testing solution from scratch and to implement each individual treatment yourself takes a lot of work and testing. So thank you Flutterflow for building this one out. The fourth thing I wish I knew about Flutterflow and my favorite part about it is how easy it is to hook up custom REST APIs. I'm one person who likes to write my backend myself. Some people can use Zapier if they wanna use an entirely no code stack, but if you're like me and you wanna have your own backend or you wanna to connect to someone else's backend, it's super simple. You just come into the dashboard, input your API URL, declare the headers, query parameters, and variables, and the cool part, you can use their built-in response test simulator to test your inputs and outputs and declare the expected response structure so you're not having to parse every property anytime you wanna consume that API throughout your app my favorite part of Flutterflow, hands down. The fifth thing I wish I knew about Flutterflow is that their support is not that great. If you're having problems with their platform and troubleshooting the platform itself, their support is helpful. But if you ran into a bug trying to integrate a feature, it's kind of hard to find the answer. Um, it's not like React or Flutter where you can just Google it and get the answer right away because it's still in its early adopter phase. However, they've done a great job putting together a community on Circle and you can find a lot of really helpful and excited people out there who are definitely willing to help. But if you need further help, we do offer Flutterflow coaching and premium support at Ambitious Labs. You can use the link in the description and we'll tell you more about it. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you want a standby Flutterflow developer to help you resolve any problems that you might have. The sixth thing I wish I knew about Flutterflow was how incredibly easy it is to one-click deploy your app to the store. You literally just build your app as you would, come to the dashboard and hit deploy to App Store and you're done. You wait five minutes and your app appears in App Store Connect literally insane game changing redefining groundbreaking i'm not even joking flutterflow is a game changer the seventh thing i wish i knew about flutterflow is for all the haters out there who say no code apps can't scale bullshit with flutterflow they thought ahead in one click you can download the entire project source code and hand it off to a flutter developer the eighth thing i wish i knew is that if it's not already integrated you can integrate it yourself so if there's a third-party flutter sdk that you're hoping to bring into your flutterflow app you can Simply bring in the PubSpec dependency name, declare it, and start writing code. The ninth thing I wish I knew is that although you don't need to know how to code to use Flutterflow, you do need to know full stack software development principles. So what is a front end? What's a back end? How does a database work? And how do you use an API to tie all those things together? It's not insurmountable. You can definitely learn it. And that's what the Dreams Into App Bootcamp is all about. We help entrepreneurs bring their ideas to life. You'll learn Figma, Flutterflow, Firebase, Zapier, and GPT-3 to build your own AI content writing app. We have virtual and self-paced options to accommodate every type of learner. Links in the description. I hope to see your application. The last thing I wish I knew about Flutterflow is that even though they market themselves as a web and mobile no-code builder, I wouldn't go into Flutterflow thinking you're gonna have an amazingly high quality web app and an amazingly high quality mobile app. 
you will have an extremely well done mobile app, but the web it will have some performance issues. And that has nothing to do with Flutter flow. It's that Flutter as a language was optimized for mobile engines, not web browsers. I hope this video was helpful for you. I learned all these things over the last year working with Flutter flow. I did come from a background of 10 years of actually writing code by hand. So some of these things did come a bit more naturally. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in our Slack community.